Hello, this is Dave Miller from WeldonRods.com to here to show you our spray torch, which is the hot process that puts down powdered metals on wear surfaces. So if you have any keyways, any blades with a worn out area, or if you have conveyors with areas that are worn bad, we have different powders that are it's a hundred percent powder that you can use with this torch and the flame to build those back up and stop the wear from happening. So this is the torch, the uh, hot process spray torch from WeldonRods.com. So we use for the spray torch 18 pounds of oxygen um, and 10 pounds of acetylene gas. And we never go over 10 pounds of acetylene gas. And everything is gravity fed so your powders would go on the top of this here. You would hit the trigger and it's gravity fed through the torch, through the flame and builds up your part, your worn surface. Hello, so we're going to show you how to light this torch. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on this, but before we do, I want to talk about safety. Okay, to light the spray torch, what we're gonna do is crack your acetylene valve, okay, and give it a light. And we'll get a little bit of gas going. Add your oxygen to it, your valve, open it up. Okay, you got a long feather there, you're gonna hit the trigger and bring it into a, a cone and then let off the trigger. Now you got it set properly. Then you would take your bottle of powder, turn it upside down, screw that on, tip it upside down, and there you go. Now you're ready to spray your next application. Cleaned up, and we're going to spray with cast iron spray powder. Take a look. Now this process uh, takes time. It's a uh, not something that you do fast. You got to take your time with the cast iron and you slowly spray that hole in and it'll slowly start to seal itself up. But you have to get the cast iron manifold up to temperature and once you do it gets a little wet looking and then you can start to add the powder like you're seeing now. The uh, torch is filling in this hole in the manifold and it's really starting to repair this here, starting to seal it up. The cast iron powder goes down very smooth. You see me pulling that flame away? I'm giving it a little chance to cool off, and then I'm going back onto it to fill it in more. you got to be very careful because you're getting the manifold cherry red, and it's very liquidy, so we don't want it to fall through. So you're watching your heat. You're pulling away when you have to, and then you can always go back on and add more powder to it and seal it up even more. So you just take your time. It's like brazing, but it's a very doable process. It's been around a long time. So excellent for repairing on cast iron manifolds, cast iron housings. If you have keyways that are gotten too loose, you need to seal them up. This is the way to do it, and it's very, very quick. I also carry all the different powders. This happens to be the cast iron powder. We have steel powders, uh, machinable, non-machinable, and we also carry it for stainless powders. You just give me a call with your application and we can help you out with that. So you can see the manifold completely sealed in and it's cherry red and you'll always, always let it cool by itself. You never quench this with water. You can, if you have speedy dry or you have some sand, you want to bury it in and let it just cool for a little while. Otherwise, just let it cool by itself, and you'll see that this repair is very solid. The cast iron is completely sealed up right now, and you won't have any issue with this breaking on your cracking. Uh, it's pretty, pretty well solid and, and repaired. So we're going to be building up the, this plate here, the edge of it, 
and uh, you can see that we put some grooves in it. So we're going to turn on the uh, spray torch now to show you that we can build this up and it'll come out nice and smooth when we're done. So you'll see the trailing edge. Take a look at the way this is being sprayed. So now you see the trailing edge here and you can see how smooth the layer is of the spray powder. It comes out very smooth. Now this was fully machinable and then you can build it up and add a hard coat over it which we're doing right now. You can see him adding a hard coat over there and once you put the hard coat over that soft powder it makes your project very very strong and and you won't have any problem with wear in that area anymore. So that's a, a great thing to do if you have small worn surfaces that are just an, always an issue and you need to put a hardened coat down. This process would be a great uh, application for you. We hope you like this video and uh, if you'd like to, any information on the WeldingRods.com spray torch, uh, please give me a call, Dave Miller at uh, 1-888 nine three five three seven oh three or you can email me at dave at weldingrods.com if you like this video and want to subscribe uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button below and you can also add any comments to it thank you for watching